Well, the first thing that I wanted to do to get the house all livened up for spring was to add a really impactful flower arrangement right in these gorgeous windows. It's just the perfect spot to have something that really makes a big statement. So I get a lot of my faux stems from Hobby Lobby. They just have the best selection in our area and the prices are always good when you get them 50% off. So I saw these really bright, um, like young hydrangea stems and I loved how citrusy they were and not normally a color that I use in my decorating, but I'm really excited to add this bright, fresh, vibrant green into the house this spring. So I'm putting them in this large glass vase and I just want them to be substantial and really make that statement when you look into the room and I definitely think that I achieved it with this but I'll let you continue watching how it all comes together Well, my hutch has suffered a little bit of neglect over the last few months ever since Christmas was over. So I knew that I wanted to freshen that up with some new decor on the top here. And I also kind of go through the inside. You'll see that here in a minute. But I needed to add some green to kind of tie the hutch in with the rest of the room. So everything remained balanced. And I figured I would just put some of this seeded garland inside the bird cage and then add a little bird's nest on top, which you can't really see from far away, but I know it's there. Next, we're going to do something fun in this bust planter that I moved from the top of the hutch to our tufted ottoman here. I wanted a pop of green again over in the middle of the room. And to achieve that, I am using these incredible faux tulips. And I will have these linked below for you. They're one of my favorite artificial flowers. Um, I will also try and link as much of the decor in this room that I can for you in case there's something that you're interested in shopping for.
I needed to give the inside of this hutch some attention because it started becoming a little bit of a catch-all for my spring decor that I hadn't yet put out. So I'm just kind of rethinking how some of the items in here are displayed and just putting things in a little bit more of aesthetically pleasing position. I'm going to kind of group some of the books together and some of the plates together. I find that when you group collections of things, it's a little bit less visually chaotic, even though it's actually a lot of stuff. It just doesn't really appear that way when you use that little decorating trick. And you ever wonder If days like these last With one another With the feeling past Would you find out with me If it all starts to crumble We'll search the pieces It's shy. 